What's going on everyone? Brett Williams here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm finishing up 14 days quarantine here in the beautiful Hyatt Regency Perth. This amazing hotel room right here, this very cozy hotel room has been my home for the last 14 days. I've not been allowed to leave the front door. I've been solely in here, haven't been outside to get any fresh air. And you're probably asking why is that? And that is because the Australian government had decided that anybody flying in from overseas during this time with everything that's going on needs to spend 14 days within quarantine in a hotel because the focus there is to be able to really contain any overseas transmission of the virus into Australia. So from that perspective, I think it's a really smart thing to do. But I can only imagine that there are people in here who have been struggling over the last 14 days, probably really just emotionally in a, in a hole. Maybe they've been binge watching Netflix constantly. Maybe they've been drunk 24-7. Drunk you know, who knows what, what's been going on? But all I know is what's been going on for me and how I've been able to thrive through this time to be able to really just, you know, be okay with it and be happy with what's going on and being able to accept what is going on. That is a key point right there. Now for me coming back 15 days ago when I was in Bali, over the last year and a half I've been in Bali probably most of that time frame, I decided to fly back to Australia because of everything that was going on right now. And in that moment I knew exactly what I was flying into. I knew that I was going to need to be doing these 14 days quarantine. So in that moment I was able to start mentally preparing. I was able to really start thinking about how do I want to feel about this? How do I want to experience this time frame? What do I want to be able to get out of it? And with that, I've created all of the lists on my whiteboard right here, which just reminders for me on a daily basis whilst I'm in here as to what it was that my intention is. And these are things such as gratitude, movement, happiness to thrive, growth, productivity, contact, uh, content creation, fun, financial rewarding, focused, relaxing, meditation, transformation, transformation and movement. And all of these things is what I had the intention of coming into this. And being able to set that intention has allowed me to be able to thrive through this. It's allowed me to have fun. Yes, I've had days where I've wanted to kick down that door and run out of here. And if I hadn't signed a government agreement, maybe I would have. But at the same time, I knew why I was in here and I understood the whole process. So of course, I wasn't going to do that. But it didn't mean that I didn't want to be in here and I had some mentally challenging days. And when I say mentally challenging, what I'm really saying is I had some feedback that was going on for myself. I was able to see more about what was going underneath my mind in different situations so that I could bring more awareness to it, more self-compassion and learn and grow through it. So maybe right now you're struggling. Maybe you're right now you're finding, I just don't know how to be by myself. I just don't know how to, to get through this time frame. The things that I want to say to you is set an intention. What is it that you actually want to achieve through this process? Because when you can set that intention, you're able to focus on something and it will bring your focus back to that every time that you find yourself in those dark holes of self-questioning and just frustration and everything like that. You can remind yourself. The other thing that I want to say is having gratitude. A gratitude process will help you to ground, it'll help you to center, it'll help you to refocus yourself in those moments when the whole world feels like it's spinning. And when you can find gratitude in the smallest of things, be it just having a clean running water or whatever it might be, whatever there is for you, food, maybe it's fresh air, whatever it is, having that gratitude will allow you to become complete within yourself in that moment because it'll bring you back to your center. It'll bring you back to yourself. And the other thing, you know, look at things like journaling, being able to just get those thoughts out on paper. One of the biggest things that I find for myself is that when I journal, it allows me to see what's going on in my head because it can be so easy to get caught up in this and just find that it's just swimming in a whole turmoil of everything that's going on. So being able to really see what's going on by getting it down on a piece of paper. And at the same time, like how can you make some fun out of this? Like I've been in here for the last 14 days and I've created a game out of it. I've been keeping a, a social media post, great fun photos, and just allowing myself to share the journey with others and at the same time be able to take some seriousness out of the situation because let's be real, right now what's going on, it is extremely serious because it is just at a point where, you know, there's a lot of people dying, there's a lot of cases, a lot of struggles and challenges that are going on in this, in this world. But if there is a way to be able to bring a little bit of fun to it, 
so that you can take back some of that seriousness and you can just be more in the moment because when all of this plays out, the whole focus of what I wanna say right now is that when you can be in that space for yourself, you're able to show up for others who may be really struggling right now. But if you're in a place where the whole world is just turmoil and you're reacting to it and you're reactive and it's just all of this chaos that's going on, the truth is, is you're gonna be no help to anybody if they are needing somebody to lean on because you're at a breaking point yourself. So all of these things, gratitude, journals, uh, meditation, intentions, all of these things will allow you to fill your cup up so that you can give to others. So that being said, if you got value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.